Alrighty guys, welcome back to the next episode of the climb up to the Division 1 title Well, as far as we can go anyway. So, uh, in this one we're going to be trying to get out of Division 8. So we've got uh, 5 more points to get the title or 2 more just to get promoted. So hopefully we do that this episode. Hopefully we can get a couple of wins. That would be the brilliant thing to do. So uh, we've got 645 coins, so I'm going to go and see if I can buy a couple more contracts now and, uh, and put them on these players. And then uh, we'll figure out the best team to uh, to use in the next game and hopefully get another victory. And then once we get, hopefully get two more victories in the next two games and uh, win the title, get some coins. And I'm thinking maybe you're looking at building a new squad possibly if we have enough coins. That'd be awesome. I might even look at selling Harry Kane. He'd probably, probably sell him for 800, 900 or something like that. And it could probably bring in a couple of players for that amount of coins. So I'll go and get some contracts now and I'll show you the team. Alrighty guys, so here we go with the team, and it's not too bad at all. So we've got Welbeck coming back in uh, for Kane. We've got Jay Rodriguez coming back in for Redman. Both centre mids have been swapped out, so we have uh, Jordan Henderson and Mark Noble in. We're keeping Oxley chamberlain from the last game. We're keeping Lowton, and we're bringing uh, Phil Jones back in, and we're bringing uh, Davies back in, and Briggs as well. So hopefully that team can get it done, get the first victory of the, uh, of the episode. It would be brilliant and uh, get some more coins and get some more contracts and then hopefully we have enough contracts to more or less last us until um, the end of this title and then we should be able to uh, to look at building a new squad with the new coins if we win the title so that's the plan alrighty we have a La Ligua <laughs> 82 rated 92 uh, 98 chemistry and is a La Liga um, more or less except it's got uh, Rojo and Clichy in there at the back also David De Gea so I'm uh, going to have to worry about Rodrigo and Vela's pace. Pedro's pretty good as well. Um, Isco's creativity. Odomendi's a lot quicker now than he used to be. So, it's going to be a little bit tougher to break down, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. It's like we're playing in a, uh, a Tyne Weir derby here. I'm in the Sunderland colours against Newcastle. And Oxlade chamberlain oh, he gets tackled by Alonso. we still got it here, though. Loughton, what can you do, son? Good strength, first of all. Pass it again. Can we get there? Davies, step inside, finish it. Oh, good save, De Gea. Oh, I'll play him through. There we go. Welbeck, finish it. Get around him, get around him. Oh, De Gea stops his ex-teammate Welbeck from scoring. Oh, the pass out. There we go. Hit it. Henderson, get in. There we go. That little short corner routine works so well, and it gets us the opening goal. We've had literally probably 10 chances. I probably won't show them all. But it's been ridiculous. There's probably like four or five shots on target, realistically. But it's been a lot. And Jordan Henderson finally gets us the opener. De Gea is not moving. So we'll just start slide tackle and score a goal. <laughs> we will take it. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Alright, this guy's definitely not playing. So we're just going to have a hit here with Welbeck. And probably score. Ah, uh, no, De Gea's in the way. So we're probably just going to skip until the end of the game here because he's not doing anything and that is the end of the game guys the guy just stopped playing eventually he came back right at the end there but it was pretty pointless so uh, i can't even remember what the score was we'll see it in a second it was pretty pointless that whole game it's just a waste of time but we should have got a fair bit of coins for it so we won six nil in the end um it's surprisingly hard to score against a guy who's not playing <laughs> as anyone who's done that was probably probably be able to tell you it's hard to get the ball off him half the time but um so Let's have a quick look. Goals, so two to Davies, one to Welbeck, two to Henderson, one to Noble. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the coins, so hopefully we get a few. And we get 663, which is beautiful. So hopefully we can get three more contracts for the remaining players. And uh, and then win one more game is the plan. And then we can hopefully get the title and get a lot of coins. And that is the, the plan. So I'll get these contracts and I'll show you the next squad. Alrighty, now you might have seen this little one uh, thing available in the store. It's actually a free gold pack. I'm assuming just from buying the game or, you know, playing FIFA or whatever. I'm not going to open it because it's not really in fitting with the uh, bare basics thing. So we're going to be going into the next game with the full strength team. This is my best team that I can put out there, I think. The only thing that could possibly change is Osman maybe going out for Rodwell or Noble. I'm not 100% sure. Probably Rodwell will be the next bet, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, have a quick look at their stats. So the Rob was a little bit quicker. Osman's got better shooting, passing, dribbling though, which you probably need in the middle of the park. So uh, Rob was better physical. So it, it really depends on what type of player you're going after. So um, this is, as, as I said, this is the full strength team, the best team that I've got in the club at the moment. And then all the backups, obviously, on the bench uh, in order going backwards. So um, hopefully we can win the win this game with this with, with this team here and uh, win this title. That'd be the most brilliant thing ever if we could. And, uh, and then we can look at possibly doing a new team. So hopefully we do that. Let's get into it and see how we do. Alrighty, we go against the KOB squad. 85 rated, 100 chem. 
it is a very, very solid uh, Serie A squad. And 85 rated with those players means he's probably got some awesome players on the bench as well. I don't know if that's uh, an 85 rated team right there, especially with a Turbe on there as well. So uh, I'm scared of who's come, who can bro probably bring on off the bench. He's probably got Messi and stuff like that. But still, Tevez and Higuain up top is a very, very dangerous duo. And uh, quick, pacey wingers, good players in the middle of the park. Could be a very, very tough team to break down. A Turbe cuts inside on his right foot. Thank God, Green. If he if you let that go from a Turbe on his right foot. I'd have been so disappointed in you. Oh, there we go. Might be through here with Harry Kane. What can you do, Harry? Finish it. Get in. There we go. Harry Kane. Finally, you're starting to score some goals for us. Looked a bit solid with that finish. That was good. Alrighty. Maybe I won't sell you if you're going to score goals like that. 1-0. Play him through. Come on, Welbeck. You're through. Oh, yes. Get in, Welbeck. Oh, my God. Keep going, Welbeck. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. He's finished it. What the hell? Welbeck did not give up. Tackled Chiellini. And then tackled Barzagli as well. And then just tapped it through, through Buffon. Juventus' defense there is in shambles. That was craziness. Oh, done him there, Henderson. Henderson. Oh, look at the dribbling feet of Henderson. Can he play in Danny Welbeck? Can he finish it? Get in. Oh, my God, what a goal. That is all made by Jordan Henderson. What an absolutely brilliant dribbling assist there. And Welbeck just puts it in the back of the net. What a goal, 3-0. Henderson literally dribbled around everyone, opened up the space. Danny Welbeck used that space to perfection. Well, he did me. <laughs> God damn it. Carlos Tevez gets through. I was defending like an absolute muppet there. We should be able to still win this game, hopefully. I think we're more or less all over him, and it's just a matter of time before we score again. Oh my god, what a ball in. Henderson, can you get it in? Oh my god, what a goal! Harry Kane is going for the miracle ball. He, I meant to actually pass it back down the line. Down to the player. It was probably uh, the left back. I'm not sure who it was. Probably sure. And that was insane. It got to Henderson. Had a crack. Made it 4-1. And that is the end of the game. And we do get the Division 8 title there. And let's see how many coins we pick up. It should be a lot, actually. And I think there might be one or two players that need some more contracts. We'll have a quick look at that at the end of the game. There we go, 4,500, so we might actually be able to sell some squads, actually. So we might be able to sell some other players, like the rotational players and stuff like that, and then just use the alternating squad as the backup instead of having a backup English 11, have a backup other squad. So that would be awesome. Alrighty, so does anyone here need contracts? So um, it looks like Henderson does, Osman does. How's um, Rodwell's thing going? Because, um, yeah, we might just put that there. And we'll probably sell Osman, and we'll probably keep. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll get we'll get a contract for Davies because he is my main man. He's my bay, and we'll get one. So we need one contract for him, one contract for Henderson, and one contract for Shaw, and then that should be the contract for the English team done. And then after that, we can look at selling these players and building a new team. Alrighty, guys. So. We actually sold a few of our players, all the players that are on the bench here, our full England squad. So Kane, Welbeck, Rodriguez, Henderson, Rodwell, Oxlade-Chamberlain, Shaw, Colker, Davies, Lowton, and Green. They're the only players we've got in the club apart from the rest of the players in this team. Now, we actually had two players from the uh, Italian league in this club already. We had Berdisso and we had Pepe. They're the two players we had from our opening packs right at the start of the game. So... Uh, Burdisso has played a couple of games for us. I think he's played four, as you can see there. And Pepe has not played with us yet. So, Burdisso is the only one of this team that's actually played. So, we decided to go with that. Uh, we've already got two players and build a Serie A squad. So, the goalkeeper we're going to be having is Agazzi. So, we got him for 450 coins. Pretty not, well, not too bad. At the start, uh, apart from the couple, like the, the right striker and the right center mid, um, apart from everyone there, they were all, apart from those two players, sorry, they were all pretty cheap because I thought at that point I didn't have enough coins and then a few players sold, so I did. So uh, the right back that we went out and got is Maggio. We got him for 750. At this point, we had a few coins as well. And uh, he's just a great all-round stat, so he could be good pushing forward as well. Maybe get a cheeky long shot or something. And then we got a story for really cheap, 400 coins, low high work rates, perfect for what you need. And then we got uh, Radu as well. So uh, 1,300 coins for him. He actually cost a bit. Medium high is going to be perfect for defending. And um, yeah, he's really expensive on the market. Um, not a lot of left backs. There's only him, Cole, and Evra really that are on the on the market. And um, I decided to go with him for his defensive, uh, defensive side of things. 
The left mid that we got right at the start was Rodriguez. Not too bad, 350 coins, 3 star skills, and pretty good all-round stats apart from defending, but well, he's not going to be defending anyway. Now, um, the first center mid is going to be probably the highest rated player in this team. It's going to be Pjanic. I had a bit of coins left. I splashed out and got 1,500 worth uh, in our Miralem Pjanic, an absolute monster. So I'm excited to see how he goes. And then this is the first player I bought. I got Kuka. Now, I actually put a bet on him at just 150, and then a 600 bid came in straight away. So I'm assuming that maybe... Maybe there's this thing in EA they've got at their no, back of house that says, like, we can't let him go for less than his discard, so if it, if a bid does go on for that and it gets close, maybe we'll put an automatic bid on or something like that. But I put the bid on for 650, mainly because of his physical, like 87 physical and decent um, round stats as well, so not too bad at all. Now, the, the main striker we went out and got was Giuseppe Rossi. Haven't used him this year, haven't used him for a couple of years, I don't think, actually. He's a bit of a boss. Unfortunately, he's been plagued with injuries in real life. Um, and the other player we got to um, match up with him, we got at the start for 400 coins, is Mattery. So hopefully those two up top can do a job. So all we're going to do now is get into the third game of the episode. And now from now on, we're just going to rotate through these two squads. Um, and then hopefully, eventually, just if someone goes out of contract, we'll look at whether we're going to get them a contract or whether we're going to improve on their position, sell them on, and get a new player. So eventually, we'll be looking at getting a new squad, uh, but probably not until we win the title of this one, if we can do that. So... Um, first game in Division 7, let's see if we can get a win with this new Serie A squad. Alrighty, the first team we come against is Wrecked, 81 rated, 100 chem, and he's got a Premier League team. What are the odds? We're going to come up against that a lot. Not too bad of a Premier League team as well. I'll probably get Courtois instead of Czech, and apart from that, the back line is pretty solid. And there's a few, um, obviously a few better players you can get up top of Guerra and stuff like that. Sturridge is OP as shit though, so we're going to have to watch out for him and Remy. So this is just an OP uh, Premier League squad, so let's see how we do. Planic, oh, played him over the top. What a ball. Matri goes through. Can he finish it? Matri, oh, what a save, Petacek. I can just see now Planic is going to be a beautiful provider for this for this squad. It's going to be awesome. And is he marking that player? It looks like he is. So let's just see if we can get um, him on the end of it with a header. Who is that? I'm not sure who it is. Maggio is going to hit it, though. Hit it. Maggio, get in. Oh, my God, he's put it in. Maggio got blocked but didn't even care. Kept running. And Czech was probably uh, unsighted. Probably didn't see a lot of it. And I'm not sure who blocked him, but he just kept running. Maggio, the right back, with that 70 shooting. Probably was a right mid, I'm assuming, from previous games. And uh, good to get that off the board with his Serie A squad. Oh, he's over the top. I think he's on. That's Rodriguez. Oh, my God, he's headed it over the top. Christian Rodriguez makes it 2-0. The left mid, it's the guy that I wasn't really that excited about using. But he's actually made me a little bit more excited about it. The, uh, the experienced Uruguayan has put us 2-0 up. What a dink header over the top of Petacek. Pjanic has seriously been amazing this game. What can Rossi do? Can he finish it? Get in. Oh, check what a save. Pjanic is literally all over the park. He is amazing. Glad I picked him up. I was tempted to go with Nangolan. I'm glad I went P for Pjanic for the, that higher overall. Can he put it in the back of the net, Rossi? He can. 3-0 in the 25th minute. What a start from this beautiful Italian side. Oh, looks like we might have a rage quit 25 minutes in. That is insane. That guy with a pasty Premier League squad cannot handle it in Division 7. That is just unfortunate. We might have a rage quit. Hopefully it gives us a win. We are pretty early into the game, but we were 3-0 up, so it should give us the win. If not, we'll have to play another one, because it obviously won't count as a match, but hopefully it gives us a win. That'll be, I would literally shout it if it doesn't, so come on. Alrighty, and it has given us the win. There we go. 258 coins. Not great. But I will take it any day of the week. Contracts, um, fitness I'm not so much worried about now that we've got the rotation squad. So it's just going to be contracts we're going to have to worry about. But that is a beautiful way to end the episode. And make a guy rage quit with the new side. That is awesome. I'm so excited about that team. He's actually playing really, really well. And um, Pjanic is seriously just impressed me in that 25 minutes. All over the park. So strong considering. What's his physical? 66. That is absolutely crap. He is amazing. And uh, I'm really excited to use that team next game or next episode as well, along with bringing back the uh, the big boys from the Premier League and maybe looking at getting some new players. So who knows? But thanks for watching this one. I've been VO and peace.